Okay, so what are the symptoms? A heart attack person, one should think that we are high, we are going to have or we are having a heart attack, maybe. So number one is that patient will have severe retrosternal chest pain, which radiates into left arm, sometimes severe sweating. In elderly, you know, they can just collapse in the collapse in the bed. So is profuse sweating, fallen blood pressure. These are the classical symptoms of heart attack. But remember one thing. If these symptoms doesn't occur, it doesn't mean that you are not having the problem. Even pain in the stomach, you know, sometimes pain in the stomach, which you erroneously think that it is because of the stomach pain, it turns out to be heart attack on investigation later on. So another thing is that fall in blood pressure, blood pressure due to any unexplained reason. So one should suspect that maybe is there anything that we should I should show to a doctor so that I can know whether I am having a heart attack or not. So, diagnosis of heart attack needs, you know, accurate and a very precise uh, premonition. Like I should think, patient should feel that, yeah, if patient is aware of these things, then you will feel that, yes, something is happening to my heart. I may show to a doctor. So, this is the most important aspect. High index of suspicion. If you suspect, then you will think that you are having a problem because all the time doctor is not with you. You have to go to a hospital. Why you will go to the hospital? If you think that I'm, something is problematic with my heart, you know, patient comes to me, what they say, doctor, I felt that something is troubling me, something is not right. When you do an ECG, you think, you find out that he's having a heart attack. So, first thing is that high index of suspicion. You suspect the thing, then you go to a doctor. Preferably, one should go to a cardiologist. But cardiologists not, are not all where, uh, everywhere it is, they are not available. So what do you do? You go to a doctor, get an ECG done. First you are having these type of symptoms. You think that you talk to your friend or somebody else or you speak to a doctor if you know. Then you go to a doctor, the doctor will himself do an ECG and ECG will 90%, 95% cases, ECG will identify that a person is having a heart attack. Because you see, heart attack is an emergency condition. It has to be treated very urgently. We, if you are late in getting the treatment, if you are late in getting the diagnosis, so that will delay the treatment and definitely the prognosis and the outcome of the disease.